we're just entering the final day. Quality, but even more personally, I'm a prior event to be quite 
Help us, please. Find <laughs> some ease. From this discouragement, every night she makes me. She's always running late to help me with prayers. Every night she makes me late to stay at evening prayers. I wasn't stalling. I was just sort of putting it off. 
So when she realized that she could delay no longer, the littlest angel made her way towards the office of the angel of peace. But she encountered someone that she was not expecting, the understanding angel. It was surrounded by a large olive grove, 
So probably. That's it. Then you go up the road, take a right at the donkey farm. Up the road, take a right at the donkey farm. Got it. Oh, and one more thing. No more on the go. Never again. I'm on my way. Oh, thank you, understanding angel. You're quite welcome. I'm going to park now. Today, this event is at hand. 
Very soon a child will be born, Mary of, uh, Mary of Nazareth, and her husband Joseph, in the little town of Bethlehem. Now, his name shall be Jesus, the, as the prophet Isaiah prophesied. The government will be upon his shoulders. His, shoulders. his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Prince of Peace. He shall be the Son of God. Did you hear? A miracle is happening. A child will soon be born. Jesus Christ will be in his name. The world will never be the same. All the universe will adorn. Did you hear? A miracle is happening. We are telling Jesus' birth. Bethlehem will be the place where God reveals his holy grace in a simple manger down on earth. Did you hear? A miracle is happening. The face of God has smiled. The birthday presents we will choose to celebrate the joyful news. Gifts will take unto the holy child. Gifts? Birthday presents? It will be his, of course, it will be his birthday after all. Oh. And that's why we'll give the holy infant presents on his birthday. But that's not the only reason. We give him gifts for his own, the one day give a gift of his own. This very life will sacrifice for eternal life in paradise, for all who will believe in him alone. Did you hear? A miracle is happening, and we must be prepared. With our gifts and presents to you, everything we need to do, for when the blessed day has been declared. As the holy halo smith, I shall give the child a golden halo. As the divine music director, I shall give man a celestial heart. As the majestic toy maker, I shall make him a little doll to keep him company in the manger. We all will make him the same gifts, beginning to our positions and occupations. What am I supposed to make a I don't know how to make a heart or a halo. I don't know how. Oh, hi, understanding angel. Hello, little angel. What are you giving me to do this? This book of empathy and compassion. I'm sure I'll like it. I hope so. What are you giving me? It's a, it's a secret. <coughs> it's a secret even. I don't even know what it is. Maybe I could write a song. I've gone pretty well at singing in the heavenly choir. Let's try. Hello, hip hip hooray. I hope you have a happy birthday. No, I don't think I'm ready to write songs yet. Uh, indeed it is. A cool pen for him to write with. A blessed gift certificate for six free writing lessons, courtesy of yours truly. <laughs> now I just need a colorful bow for the top. I know. I can write, I can compose a poem. I've always liked poems. My mother read poetry to me all the time. Let's see, how should it go? I hope we can be friends when we're big. We can be as chubby as a chicken and pig. <laughs> No, I think a good poem needs to be more than this rhyme. Talk the day for the angel. Hi, celestial cook. Is that something for the baby Jesus? A present of my finest chocolate chip cookies. I'm sure it'll like a delicious item. I'm sorry, darling, but baby going to celestial kitchen will get the book. But I'm going to go on and start just for me. Chocolate chip cookies. That sounds delicious, but I sort of lost my appetite. What can I give baby Jesus? I have nothing but my little wooden box. I mean, I could give him this. It's all I, it's not much, but it's all I have. I shall set my box right here, and when all the other gifts are ready, they'll be taken to Earth for baby Jesus. Yeah, that's Oh no! All these gifts are so beautiful, and mine is so shabby, even ugly. Maybe I can hide it before God sees how useless it is. Stop! Bring back your gift, littlest angel. But I'm, I'm ashamed of it. It's worthless. In all things, I shall be the judge of that. Open the box so that we may see the contents therein. Look, a butterfly with broken wings. I caught it on, in summer on, on top of the hill in Jerusalem. 
I picked them up by the um, olive tree next to my kitchen door. You had sons? How did you From the riverbank where my friends and I used to play. A warm cat of another ship. A collar from my dog. I kept it from when she died. You must have worked for her. We loved each other very much. But these aren't things to give to the baby Jesus. An old egg, two muddy stones, a shabby collar. What in earth, I mean, what in heaven was I thinking? This isn't a wonderful gift to give baby Jesus. Silence. Show me the box. Of all the gifts of all the angels, I find this small box pleases me the most. Its contents are of the earth and of men, and my son is born to be king of both. These are things my son too will know and love and cherish, and then regretfully will leave behind him when his task is done. I accept this gift and the gifts before me today in the name of the child Jesus. Born of Mary this night in Bethlehem. Aren't you going to a gatekeeper? Well, someone has to keep an eye on the gates. How about you? We shall watch from here. Look, Sir Gatekeeper. A bright a rising star baby Jesus. Look, above the rising star is my little box. My gift. It is indeed your gift, little Saint Jude. It shines on this night of miracles, and its light shall be reflected down through the centuries in the hearts of all men. And that's the story of the little angel. And the star that appeared on that miraculous night so many years ago. But today, of course, the little angel is a big angel, just like the rest of us. Though so not as big as some of us, of course. Though so she is a beautiful young lady. She recently received a promotion to a new administrative position, a first assistant to the understanding angel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be getting to supper. So, uh, thank you all very much for coming, and I hope to see you again real soon. Hopefully, not too soon, of course. But, uh, you know what I mean.